Hey there YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This Thursday I'm gonna be doing my like everyday makeup look and this is it right here. I hope that you guys like it and um, it's pretty easy to follow along. I will say I'm so sorry, my lighting is just gonna be crap this video. I got a new camera and I'm still trying to work on things, um, figure some things out and um, it's just gonna keep getting better and better and better as we progress. So I hope that you guys are gonna bear with me through this and uh, yeah. So to see how I did this don't make up look, then I keep on watching. Okay, so on my face for a primer, I'm gonna be using my Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Post Shave Balm. What a mouthful. Um, but I heard about this from um, Nikki Tutorials and I tried it and I have not been able to find anything since that I even like remotely as close to this. Like it just, it makes my skin feel so smooth afterwards. Like, um, like my skin, like the foundation on my skin looks so smooth and like nice and proper and it keeps my makeup on and fresh like all day, like all day, all day, all day, all day. Plus it smells like super nice. Like it makes my skin smell like a man. Mmm, just how I like my skin smelling. And for foundation today, I'm gonna be using two different types of foundation. I'm gonna be using my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation and I wear the color Light 44. And then I'm using my Born This Way by Too Faced and um, I use the color Vanilla. And I'm going to dab this onto my face and just spread it around. I may have did too much. No, I didn't. Just kidding. There's never enough foundation. Never. Ah! And then I am just going to take my beauty blender and begin blending that into my skin. I'm just dabbing my skin. Uh, another thing that I really like about this is that the Kat Von D uh, tends to dry a little bit quicker than I would like. And then the Born This Way, um, it takes a little bit of time to dry. So when I mix the two, then I get the perfect combination of time that I have to spread it around my face. Um, and one other bonus I like is that like matte um, finish that the Kat Von D foundation gives me. Um, sometimes it's a little too matte for me. I want a little bit glowy. So with the Born This Way, it gives me that nice glow and I still get like amazing hold in coverage for my foundation. Now for concealer, I'm going to be using my Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC and I wear the color NW15 and I'm going to pump that onto the back of my candle doodad here, just one little pump and I'm going to take that again with my finger and I'm going to just kind of map out where I want my highlight to be. So under my eye, like a little triangle under my eye, a little in the center of my forehead, down my nose and I like a little extra coverage here on my chin. And then again, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in with my beauty doodad. Now I'm gonna take my Rimmel Stay Matte, and this is just the transparent powder and a brush here, and I'm just going to set my under eye, um, and then I put a little in the center of my forehead and then on my nose and chin, just basically anywhere that I'm gonna get oily throughout the day. Next for contour, I'm going to be taking my Hoola powder from Benefit and my Sigma something. Uh, and I'm going to take a little bit of the powder on this brush. And I am going to start my contour like up here and bring it down. I was watching a video, um, I think it was on Facebook, on Kylie Jenner, like her makeup artist doing her makeup or whatever they do um, and I'm taking it up onto my forehead and into my hairline BT dubs um, but they start her contour like super high up and like angle it down so I started doing it and I kind of like what it does to my I'm going to be using my Anastasia of Beverly Hills brow dip and this is in dark brown I'm going to be using my E65 brush from Sigma and I'm going to begin my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Take a little bit of this product onto a brush and put it on my eyelids. I take my Beauty Blender with a little of that transparent powder on it and I'm just gonna set that. 
so that all of our other shadows are gonna be able to blend very nicely into this Max Soft Ochre paint pot. So I'm gonna start this look off with this color right here from my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. All the names are pretty crazy, so I'm just gonna leave down in the description bar the names of all the colors for you. And I'm gonna take that with my E40 from Sigma, which is just a fluffy blending brush, and I'm gonna begin sweeping that back and forth in my crease and reaching that up towards my brow bone. Next, I'm gonna be taking this color right here from the top, and I'm just going to start sweeping that again in my crease, just a little tighter to the crease, and then blend out. And I'm just using, um, it's my, it's an e.l.f. brush. It's like a domed shader brush, and it just says contour on the brush, so whatever that means. So now I'm gonna go in with the black from the, and I'm just gonna kind of sculpt out my outer V. This is a Sonia Cast. Kashik, Kasik, whatever, um, brush, and I just am sculpting out my V. I'm gonna go back in with my dome shader and I'm gonna gently buff this out. I'm gonna go back in again with that black because I just want this to be really sculpted out and defined up here on the outer corner. So I'm gonna go back in with the black again a little bit and just keeping it right there in the V of our eye or C or whatever shape you want to call it. Now I'm going to be taking this nude tone right here from the palette and I'm just going to pack and pat that onto my lips. And to make sure we didn't lose any pigment from the black, I'm just gonna dip into it one last time and go back over things just a little bit. Now with the pencil brush, I'm gonna take that very first shade that we started out with and I'm gonna dust this on my lower lash line very generously and very loosely. Then I'm gonna take this second shade that we used in our crease and I'm going to go a little bit tighter to my lash line just dust some of that down there as well. And finally, I'm gonna take the black and I'm just gonna like press it into my lash line. I'm gonna take a black liquid liner and I'm just using my BH Cosmetics liquid eyeliner and I am going to create my top lash line eyeliner now, and I can't talk and do this at the same time, so yeah. my false lashes these are just like drugstore false lashes and they're called double up and I'm gonna apply my lash glue and pop those bad boys on so I'm going to apply these with a pair of tweezers and I find it's best if you look down for this so that you are like your lid is exposed and I'm gonna press those right up against my lash line or as tight as I can to my lash line right in the center I just worry about the center at first and then let it set up a little bit. And then I'm gonna start pushing it into either side. I let my eyelash glue set up and dry. I'm going to line and tight line my eyes. And I'm just using my Kat Von D autograph liner and obviously black. And I'm just gonna line and tight line. And now I'm gonna throw some mascara on my lashes and I'm just using my Dior Blackout Mascara. And before I forget my inner corner highlight again, I am going to be using my Sugar Pill Grand Tierra. And I'm just gonna pop this here in my inner corner. To take 
my mosaic powder and this color is in paradise and I'm gonna take this and my powder just went out one two um, <clears throat> as I was saying I'm going to go ahead and dust this on my cheek warm up my face a little, give it a little laugh, say hi. And now I'm gonna take my highlighter and this is in um, Muck. And this is from um, Bitter Lace Beauty. I was recently sent this highlighter because I won a contest and um, now it's like my all time favorite highlighter. Like, look at that side of my face, bam, look at that side of my face, red. <laughs> so I applied it to my cheekbones and then here on the tip of my nose and a cupid toe and um, I just want everyone to know my lighting is so jacked so I this does not look that red in person on camera it's looking cray cray but I swear to you it doesn't look like that in person so now that my highlighter's on I'm gonna go ahead and plump up my lips and I'll be back with some lipstick for y'all. For lips, I'm gonna be using my Jeffree Star in Unicorn Blood and my Kat Von D in Adora. And this is the finished final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you did, hit that thumbs up button. It lets me know that you guys enjoy the videos that you're seeing or the content. I'm trying really hard to do more and more makeup videos instead of like me talking videos. And if you like me talking videos, don't worry, I'm gonna be starting to make more of them and I'm actually gonna be a little bit more loosened up in myself. I think I've been so afraid for so long because I got such negative feedback like when I was just kind of goofy and whatnot and I was like nah 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 like I'm not gonna do that because I'm not I did like I don't like being compared to people I don't like when people are like oh you're just doing this for whatever and I'm like no that, that, that's just me sorry I don't know what to tell you and now I'm just rambling because I like to ramble so I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup look and think it's as cute as I do this is more of my everyday um, just depending upon the day I'll pair it with a different lip color so it just all depends on what I'm feeling like so I hope that you guys enjoyed this and um, don't forget to hit subscribe because then you can never miss me again I upload every Thursday and I will see you next Thursday and I love you okay peace